Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. All right, so I'm doing this after the daily reset, uh, but we're going to talk about our new update. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and try and do the daily quests. Uh, check out exactly what this uh, countdown to the anniversary is. <coughs> um, and... I think that's all we're going to do right now, because I have something else I want to do, but I don't think we're going to have time to do it. So, <clears throat> all right, let's jump in here. All right, uh, let's go straight to the notices and take a look at this. So, um, second anniversary countdown. So it's the only update we have. <coughs> we also have the, um, the daily timed event we can do too, if we need to. Uh, second anniversary countdown event. New rewards each day. Our second anniversary is almost here. Celebrate with daily countdown quests. The rewards change every day. Um, complete the quest for fabulous rewards and fabulous rewards. Like magic mirror, magic room medals, and jewels. Okay, um... So it is going to go for one week. It is going to go until the 6th. So apparently we are going to see the 7th as our anniversary day or the beginning of anniversary festivities, which hopefully will last an entire week culminating in the fan event at California. So. <clears throat> Man, my throat is not good today. Um, let's go ahead and go into events and let's hit up the, okay. So we've got the weekend raid boss, of course, uh, good luck to everyone trying to get your lucks this month or this week, I guess time attack event and the rewards. Let's go ahead and start with the anniversary. Defeat three or more enemies for mirrors, uh, for jewels, mirrors and, or jewel mirror and, um, chip chip. I think that's chip. Yeah. Okay, cold track alone. <coughs> so we gotta defeat three of them. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. Okay. Um, we got one here, and we got one there, and we've got one there. Okay, so we got three. So it doesn't seem like these are gonna be that difficult either. It seems to be lower level guys, okay. Okay. And is there another one down here? Or like the the like the raid boss that scared me last time? That was scary. That raid boss was scary. I was like, what? Or like the the dark. Okay, here we go. All right, so kind of a gimme. Um, let's see what what it is. Okay, one, two, three. Just defeating one gives you the um, the jewels. Two hundred jewels, three magic mirrors. Decent, nice. Okay, so decent reward. Um, I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to figure out exactly how much. Uh, we're saving up every day because that wasn't bad. That was not bad. All right, complete within twenty seconds. <clears throat> All right, um, let's go ahead and do this. And while we do it, I want to talk a little bit more about the anniversary and what I think about it. Because um, honestly, the, the thing I've been getting over and over again from people um, is every single, I mean, like pretty much every single day, people come into the stream asking, uh, what, what do I expect? You know, what do I expect from, whoa, this is going to be weird. What do I expect from the anniversary? What do I hope we're going to get from the anniversary? Uh, and honestly, you know what? I, I honestly have to say, um, I don't know. Um, I, I I have to take... Oh, so close. We have to do it again. I have to take uh, into consideration something like... Um, uh, like, for example, the... Um, the, um, <clears throat> the Black Friday deal, okay? Uh, or the lack of Black Friday deal we had this year. Or this past year, I guess. Um, 
it's something very interesting. Um, for those of you who don't know, in the year 2016, we got a really, really cool offer or deal, I guess. Uh, we got a Black Friday deal in which we were able to purchase VIP for, do you like, hitting the, hitting the barrels, does it add time to your timer? I don't know. Oh, wow. Hopefully I got it. Barrel. Uh, I think I got it. Okay. Um, so we got a really good offer in Black Friday last on 2016. Uh, we got discounted uh, VIP, which was really awesome. A lot of people were able to purchase it. Um, and this past year, there really wasn't anything. I mean, there was an offer. We did get some jewels. You know, we did get stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but it didn't feel as celebratory as it could have been. And by this, um, I'm going to have to compare it to other games, both mobile games and non-mobile games. I play, as some of you might know, a lot of games. I know that on my YouTube channel, you guys only see a couple of different games. Plus, every once in a while, you know, you guys know I do unboxings. I do first looks of other games. Uh, I, tr I try different things all the time. Um, and if you come to my stream, you'll also know that I play a lot of other games, some that I don't even make content for on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of other games that I try and I play by myself too that I enjoy playing by myself. <sighs> All of these games, they do take a considerable amount of manpower or incredibly smart limited people <clears throat> to develop i mean all that you see here all that we see on screen all that we tap all the interaction that we do that's not easy to do i don't know how to do it i don't know if anyone out there knows how to do it uh you know what let's start let's start doing some raid bosses while we talk about this um it's definitely something that as you progress as you keep going uh oh i also have one thing to say about the raid bosses before we go we go um it's definitely something that, um, ooh, no, where's my, no, it's, is counterpoint what I'm using now. There it is. Um, it's definitely something that now as we progress in games and we see games that are more and more complicated. I mean, look at this, look how beautiful this game is. Look how absolutely gorgeous it is. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, <clears throat> but as we progress more and more in games, it does take a considerable amount of resources to upkeep these. You got to think paying the developers, paying people who update everything, uh, paying for server space, all this other stuff. So there is a large amount of costs. Um, and then we have to compare that to how much money these games make. Uh, if you guys have noticed... Pretty much most mobile games make some money. I mean, there's always someone who's going to enjoy a mobile game and they're going to put money into it, either to support the game or because they want to uh, support the developers um, or just in general. Oh, we don't have. Okay, I'm going to have to ask Miss Mew Mew to share her um, her medal. Um, you know what? Let's go with. Yeah, let's try them out. Um, so there's many different many different factors that you have to take into into account for that but at the same time um you have to look at the fact that all of this like all of these games the in-game currency is just zeros and ones it doesn't actually cost anything you know so uh like at square enix they don't have to you know send someone down to a mine every time someone buys a pack and say hey we need another you know fourteen thousand jewels someone bought a pack of jewels no just it's automatically just and it appears and they get the money having said that um i really do appreciate and i do really acknowledge when a company a developer when they try to <clears throat> i don't want to say share the wealth but when they try and show their fans and the people who have supported their game that they're happy they're playing 
And because of that, a lot of games that I play, and I'm sure some of the games you guys play, um, you'll have events where it's like, you're almost like, oh my goodness, stop giving me in-game currency, you know? Or like, stop giving me stuff. Or, or there's games where you never really feel like you have to pay money. Um, of course, some of those games have ads and stuff, and that's how they also monetize themselves. Uh, and some of them, I've had some games where I'm like, something will come out that I really, really want. A new outfit, a new weapon, uh, something that is purely, purely cosmetic even sometimes. And because of the fact that I've never had to spend money on the game, I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to drop 10 bucks on this to try and get it. Or 20 bucks, you know? And you'd be surprised how often that happens in those games because it's kind of like, this is really awesome. I really want this. I really enjoy this game. I really want to support the developers as well. Which, <clears throat> if you've been watching me for a long time, if you've been watching me since the beginning of me doing this, you will know that for the first eight or 10 months of this game, I was a ridiculously strong um, supporter of the developers. Um, I constantly would, you know, defend Square Enix. I constantly would defend them saying, you know, guys, let's give them a second. Give them a chance. Let's see what they're trying to do. Let's see what they have up their sleeve. You know, like, just give them a chance. <sighs> Am I still doing that? No. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys know why. Um... I do feel that the game, the game, even the way they described it, um, even though the social presence, and I have to say that the social presence and the social communication with the fans has just radically changed. Uh, and that's in huge parts thanks to the people who are managing now the Twitter accounts, the Facebook accounts and everything. Um, <clears throat> they've done a fantastic job. They've done an absolutely fantastic job. And congratulations to them and thank you to them because they have made us feel like we are a community. And that is just wonderful. Thank you so much. But I don't think that they have in any way, shape or form any connection or any control over what um, I kind of want to try one of these, actually. Uh, they have no connection or control over what, <coughs> um, for example, I just realized he's reversed. It's not going to work. Uh, over what the developers will do. I believe that's an entirely different office and different group. They might be able to petition. They might be able to say, hey, guys, you know, it'd be a good idea if we could do this or that. But the people who make the choices about this game, the people who make the choices about how much jewels they're going to give us, what's going to happen in the event. Sorry about that. Uh, what's going to happen like that. Those are a completely different group, a different entity, a different source. So when um let's say when they tweet something you know and, and that's why if you guys have noticed whenever something is tweeted out i have a couple of times spoken out about certain things because i don't agree how it's been carried out but i always try to direct my attention direct what i'm trying to say um to square enix i, I i'm not trying to take it out on the people controlling the twitters because they're just in charge of marketing they're they in no way can they I don't think they have any direct effect over what is delivered and how it is delivered in our game. If they do, then that's a whole different thing and then we need to talk differently. But I don't think they do. Um, regardless, I think, uh, like I said, and I know this has been a long talk about, you know, like just me kind of babbling to get to a certain point. Uh, but when people say, what do I expect for anniversary? What do I want to see for anniversary? I want to see it all. This game has been out for two years. As a person, personally for me, I have invested thousands of dollars into this game. And I am by far not even close to the level of what some people have supported this game financially and with their time. The community, the fans, have supported this game in a gigantic way. There has been so much support to the, to, to the developers, so much support to this game, so much love. I want to see them return it. The fact that we still don't have in the North America game free pulls to incentivize to pull more, that's not cool. Um, we, I, I want to see 15,000 jewels at least. I want to see, okay, this is what I want to see. If you guys ask me exactly what I want to see. I want to see 15,000 jewels and I want to see Kyrie EX guaranteed mercy in five pulls, okay? I want, I want Square Enix to give everyone in the game a Kyrie EX. One way or another, either just give us a Kyrie EX 
or give him anything because the meta of the game and where the game is, it's on completely polar opposites now. And something needs to change in that aspect. So if you're asking me what I want to see, that's definitely something I want to see. I definitely want to see a change in that aspect of the game. Um, I would love to see other banners coming back. I want to be able to get other banners that I have before, other medals I have before. I want to be able to guilt medals that I haven't gotten before. Uh, there's there's a lot of stuff that I want to see in the game like that. And I'm not saying give me everything for free. I'm not saying that either. But I would also like to see a vast change in how this game is organized in the sense of... You know what? I just don't want to see anymore. Yeah, I, I, I just I just don't want to see any more a disparity between what we can and can't do in the game. That's actually just a really big thing I want to see. Um, the point, the fact that the game has no replayability, the fact that we cannot see or get, um, for example, <clears throat> tier two, three, four, five or six medals by just doing challenges or doing quests or replaying the game. Um, I think that's wrong. I think for a game like this, it's worked so far. We are where we are. Uh, but I do personally feel that that we are at a point where the game, the game needs to change in that aspect. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. I'm gonna keep going here, seeing just how far I can get. I'm really looking forward to the raid hours today. Uh, because I would like to see, I would like to see what, what we're going to, how it's going to get, um, man, level 350 seems far away, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's a good thing that it feels so far away. Anyway, thanks a lot guys. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.